In folklore, the full moon is associated with insanity, magic, and other paranormal events. None of this has any basis in scientific fact. In reality, the full moon lights up the sky so brightly that it is difficult to impossible to find faint stars or asteroids. My group, the NASA-funded Catalina Sky Survey, does not observe at full moon. Instead, we have a meeting. It is the one time of the month that none of us is observing. There are many things which must happen for us to be able to find new Earth-approaching asteroids. At full moon meetings, we go through any problems which occurred on each of the three telescopes our team operates, the 60-inch on Mount Lemmon, the 40-inch on Mount Lemmon, and the 27-inch Schmidt telescope on nearby Mount Bigelow. We use the same computer programming environment at each telescope. This software allows us to cull through the millions of objects we image each night to find a handful of new Earth-approaching objects. Much of our discussions concern refinements to this family of computer programs. During July and August, the monsoon rains come to southern Arizona. During this time, our group does routine maintenance and makes major equipment upgrades. The third night after full moon, we begin to search the sky for Earth-approaching objects for a total of 24 nights before we again break for the full moon. Our team discovers about 600 new near-Earth objects per year and has accounted for about 47% of the total humans know about. For Travelers in the Night, this is Dr. Al Grauer. Go to travelersinthenight.org program 155 for more information.